Earlier in this section, we looked at how to produce an algorithm in the form of either a flow diagram or as pseudocode. Obviously, this is all very well, but the important final step is being able to turn your pseudocode into high-level language code that can actually be run and executed on a given machine. And that's what we'll look at in this video. So let's just step through the, uh, the whole process. Let's start with our initial problem. So here's a nice simple problem for this video. Write a program to ask a user how many numbers they would like to average. Once applied, the program should then prompt the user to enter this many numbers, and it should finish by displaying the average of all those numbers entered. So I've started off by uh, writing my problem out as a flow diagram, because I always find that a, a easier, and so do my students, before producing the actual pseudocode. So here's my flow diagram. Uh, declare some variables and initialize a running total to zero, then ask how many numbers they want to average. We're then going to loop, and however many numbers they've, typed, uh, they've said, the user's gonna be prompted for a number, add it to the running total, and keep doing that for however many numbers they ask for. Once we've supplied all those numbers and we've got our running total, we're gonna to work out our average and display the average to the user. Now I've done the flow diagram, it's easy to produce it into pseudocode. So you'll see here, I've got my start and end, my begin and end. I want to declare my variables and set a running total to zero. I then want to ask the user how many numbers they'd like to average. And that's here. I then know I want to loop. So here's my loop for one to the number of times. And each time we're on the loop, I want to input the next number and then add that number to the current running total. That's the loop done. Once I've done around the loop, I want to work out the average. And of course, the average is going to be running total divided by numbers. And then I want to output the average. And I have just noticed here, and this is often the case when producing pseudocode, I probably obviously should have declared average up here. But this is on your pseudocode, and now I've spotted it, I can make sure that, that translates into high-level code. Now I step through this problem carefully by creating a flow diagram to create pseudocode, it should be relatively easy to change this pseudocode into high-level code. So I've had to pick a particular language now, and here I've picked uh, Visual Basic. But essentially, you can see this section is where I declared and set my variables. And as you can see, I've now written that as high-level code in Visual Basic. And in doing so, I've picked up a couple of mistakes and admissions I had. Uh, for example, the current number and the average. Here, I ask how many users, uh, how many numbers I'd like them to average. And that's turned into two lines of code in Visual Basic, a write message to the screen and the ability to read in the number and store it in my local variable. Here's my loop um, with my two lines and here's my loop with my two lines. Outside the loop, here's my average calculation. And it's almost identical. And then finally, I prompt out to the user what the answer was. And here's my final write line doing that. 